What's going on everybody? This is Brian from sneakerfiles.com and today we're going to show you a closer and on feet look at the Air Force One Ultra Force Mid. Now with this shoe they're really promoting breathability and they are light. I'll get into more of that in later in the video but these are set to drop today uh, January 5th at select Nike sportswear retailers including Chic Shoes. There'll be a link in the description below and retail price is 110 each. Before we jump into the tech and all that good stuff, the on feet, um, really quick, they do fit true to size, so whatever size it is, make sure you pick that up in these if you're going after them. Now, there's three colorways I have, and I believe there, there's two more, and there's also uh, women's releases too, but this is the men's, and shown is the gym red, and then prior we had the black and white pair, and then pure platinum. So let's bring you a bit closer. So Nike is really promoting comfort and breathability with this shoe. And they basically use, well not basically, they do use an inner sleeve with a mesh overlay. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, getting these in hand, I was extremely like impressed as far as how light they were. Incredibly light. Now, in comparison to the Flyknit edition, you know, I'm not sure because those actually really impressed me too. And I don't have them on hand to see. I should have grabbed one when I was at the shop, but... I didn't do that, and that's my fault, so I apologize. But then we have leather on the overlays. As you can see, it's on this swoosh. Different grades of leather, too. You can tell one is like more textured across the swoosh. I, and then on the, the overlays back around the heel and down the eyelets or eye stays, pretty much the same. So on the toe, we have your standard perforations, um, rolled leather. And then we have mesh across the tongue, but of course we will because it connects to that inner sleeve. And then 3M runs right down it. We have Nike Air Force One patch, or let me say that right, Nike Air Air Force One. And that is done in leather, and that is also debossed. Same setup for the medial side. We got mesh across the panels, the leather swoosh, and on the overlays. So pretty straightforward um, shoe. I mean, it's just a clean shoe. That's pretty much it to it. Like, And it's breathable. And it's for the, the little bit I've worn it, because I haven't really tried it for a long period of time, they are, they are comfortable. But I'm not going to go out here and promote comfort, comfort if I haven't worn it for a long time. So... I'm just pretty much stating what Nike has on their site, but I can say they do fit true to size. But anyways, we have uh, DuBoss Nike Air on the heel. Again, that stripe right here, all 3M. One thing I did notice, though, super easy to put on. I mean, it is a slip-on, slip-off type of shoe, but these heel, or these, the tongue and heel pull tabs, super easy to get on, as well as remove. And then we have an all-white midsole, and I believe Nike is calling this an IU midsole, and that's supposed to be for comfort and durability. So as far as the tech goes, I mean, that pretty much wraps it up. My opinion is I don't understand why they released them during the early part of January. So I'll get more on that later in the video. But I'm sure a lot of you guys already have your own opinions on the shoe. If you like them, that's cool. I'm not here to judge. Well, I guess I am kind of here to judge or give my opinion on the shoe. And also let you guys know where you can get them. As well as um, any additional information you may need. So here is the Gym Red. Let me not forget. I pulled out the insole. All red. And says, Engineered for all day, everyday comfort. And the insole is a bit thicker, what I've noticed, across at least, you know, your standard casual, I guess, retro models. And I'm not going to sit here and say I know what kind of insole this is. So I apologize. I don't know it, and I'm not going to sit here in front. I tried to find out, and I couldn't. So as you guys know, I, I'm honest with my stuff. So if I don't know, I don't know. If I'm wrong about something, I will admit I'm wrong. But here is the Gym Red. Next up, we have the Black and White Pair. Now this is another just simple, like all they're all really simple color mashups, 
but the same setup as far as material goes we got leather on the overlays the swoosh and then the inner sleeve with a mesh overlay also 3m down the tongue same as the tongue and heel tabs perforations on the toe which is done in leather medial side is exactly the same leather and mesh overlay heel I almost called it embossed but <laughs> debossed Nike Air on the heel and IU midsole done in all white just a clean simple look so this is the black white pair and I pulled out the insole just so you can see all black and it says Nike engineered for all day everyday comfort and finally we have pure platinum release so pretty much all white so the white up top is more of an off-white than anything and then your midsole is more of a true white and exactly the same material as you used. So, if you skip through anything, just to run down leather on the overlays and the swoosh. And then we got an inner sleeve. And that has a mesh overlay also across the panels. The collar. And tongue. Deboss Nike Air branding. That 3M hits. Before we jump to the on... Or not actually, after the on feed. I'll have more of like... It's not really a rant, just kind of my opinion on all three of them and what I think about them, if anyone's interested. So this is the Pure Platinum. I'm not sure if I showed you the outsole, but there it is. And here is the insole insole can't even talk tonight i apologize it's super late and i still gotta shoot one more video that reminds me double upload day next up is those rare air air jordan ones with uh what is it max orange but now let's jump to the on feet All right, everybody, so that was your detailed and on-feet look at the Nike Air Force One Ultra Force Mid. They are available today. You can cop them at Chic Shoes Retailers. Link in the description below. Retail price is 110 Really quick, I want to give two quick shout-outs. First up, I want to give a shout-out to Heat because this dude 
got sent these from Nike. Now, that is a big achievement. Like, that might not seem big, but he was gifted these. Now, in order to be gifted something, like, they actually have to take notice of you. But um, that's a big, you know, a big step for Heat in the direction he's going. Also wanted to give a shout out to the Butter Movement. Now, I actually found out about this dude on Instagram before he even started a YouTube. Um, he, It was one of his videos. It was hella funny because he did some elaborate ass story about it was this PE, some rare PE. I forgot what it was. But he gave these descriptive ass random details on how why what it was nicknamed how it was and obviously it wasn't real but it was so damn entertaining like i was like damn like on my personal account i don't subscribe to many many people but i i you know or follows many people but i followed him because i was like this dude comes through you know with some funny stuff and then he created youtube and um you know what he he promotes is in my opinion is self like you know self wealth being a better person, you know, stuff like that. And he also gives back a lot. So in my eyes, somebody that's doing that, that's in the sneaker community, um, that's that's huge. Like, you you don't see that many people doing that. It's giving back or even doing giveaways. So shout out to those two dudes. Now, back to the shoes, okay? This is my opinion, but I do think this is the wrong time of year to drop these. So first up, we have the all-white midsole. And the outsole. So probably not great to be rocking this during the rain. Now, during the summer is a different thing. So if you want to pick them up to rock during summer, that's cool. If you want to even rock them now, that's fine too. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. <clears throat> we also have this mesh overlay. Now, I don't know 100%. I can't say 100%. But in my opinion, water and what it feels like and even seems like water will seep through this and get all up in your socks and everything that's not a good look and this is supposed to be like inner sleeve there is some room in here so it's not like snug against you but again that could happen with other shoes so i'm not going to knock it for that but just this mesh overlay i don't think this is waterproof or water repellent in any way shape or form definitely looks like it could seep through that but what they are doing good, and what I do like about them, is the price point, 110 That's That's a good price for these. They are comfort, comfortable, comfortable. I can't even talk tonight. But I didn't wear them for a long period of time, so I can't, like, vouch for, you know, for long wear or anything like that. But from what I did put them on, they are comfortable and um, really easy to put on because of these, the tongue and the heel, um, the pull tabs. So, in my opinion, also, they are really trying to go against Adidas. And now, hear me out. This might seem a little bit crazy and bizarre and all that. But, they're really promoting comfort with this shoe. And everyday wear. Says it right on the insole. The Ultra Boost, that's what... Or, Boost technology. That's what, you know, Adidas is kind of like, they put out there. And it took a, little, a minute, and they, it picked up. <clears throat> so... In my opinion, that's what Nike's trying to do. Now, this isn't a bad thing at all because the consumer, sneakerheads, I don't really like that term, but sneakerheads, consumers, whatever you want to call it, we win because we're getting better products and more releases that we want. So we get to pick and choose. So to me, this is a great thing. Um, but other than that, I do think they're trying to compete against Adidas. As far as like the quality and crafting, the craftsmanship is... You know, it's standard. It's not terrible or anything. I didn't really notice glue stains, so that's a plus. <laughs> it's not your best leather, but it is... The overall model is super light. So, yeah. Should be an easy pickup. I don't think there's much hype like the SF Air Force One or anything. Or Special Forces Air Force One, whatever you want to call them. I don't think... Like, there was a crazy amount of hype for when those first dropped in... I don't know how the second ran run did, um, but not bad, not bad overall. Um, best bet would be to check them out in person because if you're gonna cop online, that's cool. But if you want to check them out in person, I would suggest doing that just because you get a better feel of the shoe, especially if you know you're limited on buying shoes and you need something right now. Uh, this might not be the best bet for this time of year for you. you might want to wait till you know 
late spring to summer to rock them. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of all three colorways. Again, we got black, gym red, and pure platinum. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.